In our group, the members are Daniel, Sergio, Roly, Tyrell, and Cassidy. Our group topic is over concussions, and a concussion is a traumatic type of brain injury that occurs by a whiplash or a collision at the head with another solid object. Concussions are very common types of sports injury and are one of the most dangerous and sneaky injuries athletes can get. The injury is caused by a blow to the head and causes the brain to be whiplashed and hits the inside of the skull. Many symptoms may or may not start right after the injury. As of today, last we know that you do not need to have lost consciousness months. after the injury took place. In fact, you may have the signs and symptoms. Some of them include reflux consciousness, headache, nausea, dizziness, short-term memory loss, sensitivity to light and sound, balance problems, and confusion right after the injury took place, or even they may even take time to develop, sometimes even days or even weeks later. You can do your best to stop concussions because unfortunately, you cannot stop them forever. You can wear proper fitting helmets, create a safe sport culture, which is by educating the athletes about the rules and proper hitting techniques. You can educate the athletes on the severity of concussions and the importance of it. Concussions have become a very common injury in today's sports. That's ranging from Little League all the way up to pro sports. And the owners of these leagues have taken notice and are going to take steps into helping prevent concussions. So what they are going to do differently for the future is simply enforce more rules specifically aiming towards preventing concussions. Um, another step they're really going to take is they're going to ask coaches worldwide in every sport that has to do with contact to the head, um, coaching their players differently. Um, for example, in football, they are going to enforce where their coaches have to teach their players how to lead with their shoulder rather than their head. And that small step and that small coaching tip will help prevent concussions in the future. In a concussion, a healthcare provider will begin to ask detailed questions about the head injury in order to get a history of what happened. This also tests memory, concentration, and ability to recall information. This is, this is called cognitive testing. The person that is diagnosed with a possible concussion will need a, to perform a neurological exam that includes checking the patient's vision, hearing, strength, and sensation, balance, coordination, and reflexes. A baseline test is required by athletes of all levels and is taken before the start of the season, usually during a pre-participation physical and taken after a possible concussion. This is so a healthcare official can compare the baseline test with the test conducted after the injury. Brain imaging may be recommended for some people with symptoms such as severe headaches, seizures, repeated vomiting, or symptoms becoming worse. Brain imaging such as CT scanning uh, can determine whether the injury is severe and has caused bleeding or swelling as our topic is because in the last five to ten years they have become a major problem in medicine in our group many of us have been an athlete and all of us are pursuing careers in the medical field with that being said some of us have experienced our own share of concussions and know what it's like to have one so we found it was really interesting that this injury years ago wasn't being taken seriously to now, it's so important that it could be life-threatening. Many individuals with concussions have faced long-term effects or even may have died from this injury. So we as a group felt that this topic needed to be discussed to spread awareness to how serious concussions actually are.